Now, daily COVID cases have spiked to more than 176,000 nationwide. That is the highest in nearly a year. And we are seeing record numbers here in Florida, too. Ted Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo gives us a look into the state of COVID-19 here in the Sunshine State. It's not uncommon right now to know someone with COVID. If you look at the number of cases, it's going up like ballistically, like a rocket ship. Dr. Michael Tang isn't kidding. The Florida Department of Health issues a report every Friday. From the week following December 17th, there were 125,201 new cases reported. The week before, on December 10th, there were just over 29,000 cases. That's a jump of about 95,000 new cases in just one week. For those people who are vaccinated or vaccinated and boosted tend to have very, very mild symptoms. From the latest Department of Health report, there were just over 506,000 vaccines administered. That puts Florida at 71% of people who are vaccinated. Tang stands strong that if you're not vaccinated and you get COVID, you'll likely be sick. But anecdotally, really, it's it's mostly the unvaccinated people that are hospitalized. And speaking of hospitalizations, the CDC reporting last week, 381 people were hospitalized. To compare that to the week before, 235 people were hospitalized. So what does this mean about the number of deaths here in the state of Florida? We know the CDC reporting last week, 18 people died. And to put some perspective on that number for you, let's take this time last month when the CDC reported 142 people died. So what that tells us is the number of deaths are decreasing. The early data seems to show that Omicron is certainly no more severe than Delta, and it may be less severe than Delta. While that's good news, the bad news is we're not out of the woods yet. The virus is still trying to figure out how to get around. So it's not actually evolving yet. It's still kind of adapting. But other countries who experienced the spike we're in now did see a decrease. Hopefully we'll also follow them with a sharp decrease. Now experts say they are seeing breakthrough cases in high numbers in those who are vaccinated, but they say the chances are less if you are boosted.